After 47 years, Aloha Stadium is getting ready to close for good, and you can own a piece of the iconic property. A series of online auctions will begin early next month. They will include a variety of items, including seats, section of the turf, office and restaurant equipment, and other keepsakes. And then starting early next year, self-guided and guided tours will be offered to the public for a limited time. Fans will be given access to off-limit areas. Meanwhile, the Aloha Stadium Authority met today, and there's conflicting beliefs on whether the governor's plan to take a new direction will actually speed up the process. Manola Morales has more. In the Aloha Stadium Authority's first meeting since the governor revealed that he wanted to go in a different direction in building the stadium, board member and DBET director Mike McCartney said it's best to take the $350 million approved by the state legislature and just focus on building a stadium. To keep it simple, to build a stadium. The other things that are out there that have been talked about are good pieces of work like the um, entertainment district or the housing but those are things that are to be done later on. McCartney adds that there are so many things that can go wrong with a major construction project. We have to be sensitive to cultural issues. I, I'm, I'm very concerned about that here, too, because, you know, from Halawa, Ahupuaha, all the way down. It makes absolutely no sense. Manolo, we spent three years and $25 million in consultants to get us to where we are today. Everything from environmental impact studies to renderings. Senator Wakai says the state seems disinterested in actually building a new stadium. He says the state asked UH to take over the project, but UH wasn't interested in taking over the responsibility. They are very lukewarm to that idea. They don't really want to take on the responsibility of uh, being the point persons or point entity for the construction of a stadium. Wakai adds that the $350 million will likely not be enough to build a 35,000-seat stadium. And with delays more likely because of the new plan, the state will need more money. Cost escalations usually 6 to 10% every year. So we can build a three. With $350 million, we'll get a 20,000-seat stadium. And with every month of delay, we'll get a smaller and smaller and smaller stadium. The governor's spokeswoman says he will announce more details on his plan in about three weeks or sooner. UH says it is premature for them to comment. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.